Hello everyone, it's time to learn how the chess piece is captured. So for that, um, I'm going to show you a quick position because I think you guys already know how to capture uh, with your chess pieces. So basically, um, the rooks, the bishops, the knights, the king, the queens, they all capture the same way they move. And with this position, I'm going to show you that you already know what to do. Um, the knight is the one that could be a little bit tricky, but you'll see it's not it's not a big deal. And then I didn't mention the pawns because pawns are the only pieces that do not capture the same way they move. But it's going to be easy as well. So let's get started with rooks. So rooks, if you went over lesson number one and lesson number two, you know how the rook moves. Now, how, how do they capture? Well, they're going to capture anything that is in their path, anything that is in the way. So let's identify the rooks. If I look at the white rooks, uh, I have one here and one here. This rook, if I move all the way up, I see there is a black bishop in the way. So my rook could just move up and capture that bishop. In chess, when you capture something, you're just going to replace it with your own piece. That's it. That's how the rook is going to capture. Now, can I go over that bishop and capture this rook? No. We learned that rooks cannot jump over pieces. Only the knights can jump over other pieces. And also in chess, you cannot capture two pieces at the same time. Anytime you capture, it's going to be one piece. So this rook cannot move to the side. It can move down, but there's nothing. And I could move up and capture this bishop. Now, let me take a look at the other rook. This rook, well, side to side, there's queen, king, they're friends. But if I look up, there's a knight. So my rook could, again, go up, 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 up. And I capture the knight. Now, let me see bishops. So I have two bishops. This bishop captures as it moves. So he moves diagonally. I could just go dark, 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 and I capture the knight. Can I capture this other bishop? Not in one move. I cannot jump over the knight to get the bishop. So I can only capture this knight. How about the other bishop? Well, this way and this way, these are friends, same team. But if I look this way, there's a dark pawn. So I could just go diagonally and I capture the pawn. Let's see, uh, the queen, well, the white queen cannot capture anything. All of these pieces are uh, in the same team, so the queen cannot capture anything. The king, well, he can only move to these squares. There's nothing there, because these other two squares, even though he can move to them, they're occupied by one of uh, his friends. So, what else, knights? Well, knights, I said they are a little bit trickier, because it's, even though they capture as they move, they can only capture the piece that they land on. And what do, what do I mean? Well, look at this knight, for instance. This knight could go one, two, and three, and he could capture this knight. But he can only capture that knight, the one that he's landing on. Even though he's going after the bishop, after the pawn, he do nothing to those pieces. He only captures the one that he's going to land on. That's it. Um, if I look at the dark knight, well, he could go one, two, three, capture this pawn, or he could go one, two, three, and capture the other pawn. But this one over here is going to remain where it is. I could take this pawn, or I could take this pawn. These rooks cannot capture anything. They're not attacking any of the white pieces, but look at this queen. This queen um, could just go diagonally and capture the white pawn. So I could go dark, 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 and I capture the pawn. It's not letting me capture with the black pieces because it's white to move. But if I made a move like, like this, well, now the queen could just go like that. It's black pieces to move, and they could capture the pawn. Oh, I forgot the, the black king. So the black king, he could actually capture something right now. He could move to any square that's right next to him. And look at this. This knight is one of his opponent's pieces. So he could just go like that and capture. That's it. Now, the only one I didn't talk about is the pawn. Pawns, we learned that they move straight forward, only one step. When they are at the very beginning, like this pawn, he could move one or he could move two. But how do they capture? Well, pawns capture one step, but diagonally, like the bishop. So this pawn is the only pawn uh, for the white pieces that could capture right now. So he cannot capture forward. That's not how he captures, but he could go diagonally. So I go like this, and I take the pawn. Oh, it's, uh, it's actually, now it's going to be white pieces to move. 
So if the white pieces go, they're going to capture this pawn. That's it. Now, these two pawns, they could capture the white pawn. They could capture diagonally. This one could move forward if he doesn't want to capture, or he could capture diagonally, okay? from light to light. And now we're going to do what we call uh, the pawns game. The pawns game is basically just for you to really practice how uh, the pawns move. Uh, we're not going to move the kings, just the pawns, just for you to get uh, to get an idea. So white pieces always start in a game of chess. So I'm going to start with this pawn. It's at the very beginning, so I'm going to choose to move them two steps. Now, black pieces could go one and two. Now, can I capture the pawn? No. Pawns do not capture forward. These two pawns are stuck. They can only move forward. They can only go diagonally to capture. So now let's say it's way to move. They go here. Now one step, two steps, and now look, the black pawn could choose to just capture my pawn. That's how they capture it. They move forward, but he's stuck. Now he could just capture me. Now notice that he cannot go this way because there's nothing there for him to capture. So he only goes diagonally to capture something. So they capture. Now the white pieces capture back. Let's say they move this pawn. Move this pawn. See, this pawn is blocking this pawn. They cannot capture each other, they could just block each other. So this one is going to move up, this one goes here, this one goes here. So I'm just moving pawns. Now if I move this pawn now two steps, well any of these two pawns could capture it. I could go like this, or I could go like this. In this case I'm going to choose this pawn, then this one could capture me, I capture back, they say they move up. Uh, now I'm going to use this pawn. So question, can this pawn capture this pawn? Well, yes, they could just go diagonally. Let's say I move this pawn forward. Can this pawn capture me? No, this pawn is coming this way, so he can never go back. Not to move, not to capture. However, this pawn, he could easily capture me. And if I, could, if I keep going, and again, it's another opportunity for you to capture. I could capture back. Could keep going. This one goes here. This one takes. This one takes. Now, and just for the sake of getting all of the pawns off the board, I'm going to start using the kings to move forward. Then the black king captures the last pawn. And I hope, even though this was fast, I hope it gives you a better sense of how the pawns move. And don't worry about it if you still feel like you have questions because we're going to be doing uh, check and checkmate next and we're going to play our first game. As you play the game, it's going to just become really easy to see how the pieces move and how they capture.